Yeah, it's great to be back. <laughs> it's great to be by the seaside. Hasn't changed at all. It's not super steep, is it, really? Obviously, you've got the hill at Chavez, which is a bit of a roof, but apart from that, then it's just gently over rainy. That's why I went for that bit as opposed to the left hand section. So, yeah, you just looked at it and thought, oh, yeah, it must, must be impossible. Whereas this, yeah, you could definitely see there was holes. I mean, it looked all big, juggy stuff to start with. No, I remember doing an interview at OTE years ago, and they were asking me if I'd still be into climbing when I was, you know, older. And I said, yeah, I could still imagine myself uh, red pointing eight A's in my fifties. Okay, well, I'm not fifty, but <laughs> here I am. And obviously, back in '84. You know, I'd just left school like about a year before and yeah, I was living the dream really, you know, climbing with full time with all my climbing heroes and yeah, there was just a, you know, real sort of buzz and energy about the sort of group climbers, um, you know, who were climbing at the time. How much time have we got? I reckon I'll do it, but maybe not first try. That's my prediction. Where are all the olds gone? <laughs> I'd just been in France with Jerry, um, down climbing in Bukes and Verdon, and we were, you know, we'd just sort of seen how they were climbing over there, you know, the techniques that they were using, working routes. We were still like yo yoing and, you know, just dogging and stuff, but, you know, we'd seen what they were doing in France. So definitely it would have been influenced by what we'd seen over there. You know, they were climbing at a, you know, pretty high level. Uh, to me, it didn't seem that controversial. There was a lot of bolts in all the routes here anyway. Yeah, it takes there, Steve. Oh my God. When his route was reported, his statement was reported and it got um, E7, more like B7. They were so outraged about the bolts, they couldn't actually appreciate that this was like the hardest route in the country. Fucking knackered. I should have just rested. I'm my own worst enemy. I suppose you just think, well, how far can I go? It's, it's that same mentality. <laughs> Should have just rested. Now I've totally blown it for the day. Uh, Steve, I'm just going to bounce again. Okay. Yeah, it was really exciting. Yeah, it was great. I remember coming down here one morning and Ben was still in bed. We slept up the caves at the top. And I was like wide awake, so I just came running down here. I saw this rock and I was just like amazed. So I just I came back, went back to bed and said, Yeah, that's the future of British climbing down there. And kind of you could see it was climbable, but not by the sort of current standards. It was very futuristic. And of course Ben added Ben got the first route just a you know a month or two later, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I do remember when I was putting in the bolts, looking at like these flakes and um, cracks and thinking, well, yeah, you, you could get a friend in there. I kind of wrote that off pretty quickly. Oh my God. It's a bit pumping harder than I remember, that's for sure.
take a step. God, it's a bit harder than I remember. <laughs> oh my God. I'll tell you what, there's more bolts in it now than there was when I did it. Loads more. Eight bolts. I'm sure I didn't have eight bolts. Clipping them all the bloody time. Well, maybe I did. God. So sustained. Seems hard. Yeah, no, it does feel like it would have been quite futuristic back in 84. <laughs> and then in between signing on dates, we'd um, hitch down here, which could take forever. Sometimes it, if you've got bad lifts, it could take like up to 11 hours to get from Sheffield to here, which is ridiculous. And then you spend like two weeks here solid. And the year we came, 1984, was the year after the kind of big explosion everyone else had come down in 83 and so we were basically repeating all these new routes that had been done but then yeah so we had it more or less to ourselves but then a few other people did come down basher came down and andy pollock came down and did a few new routes but yeah it was amazing good weather just walked into town got food went back to the caves slept got up oh, went climbing all day today. No. <laughs> what a punter. <laughs> Too many bolts in it. Steve, take us there. Go on then, put us down. Eighty four when well because Steve was also doing a new route to the right of this, so we were both trying these routes at the same time, right? But eighty four, well I look back now, I mean I was eight seven seventeen, I turned eighteen just after I did this. It seemed like even now I look back and I think that just seemed the longest year of my life. Because we did so much. I mean I'd been to France in the spring with Jerry for a month. Then we'd come here and we'd spent ages at Pentruin, new routing. Then, then we'd gone Malham. up to Malham and spent like the rest Gordale. of the summer out there, yeah. Gordale, Malham, Gordale. Then in the autumn we went to Frankenjura. It was just like non-stop climbing all the time. It was just yeah. Oh, we must have been fit because we were just climbing all every day. Yeah. All day, every day. Yeah, and, and you know just the atmosphere here up in Yorkshire is just really you know buzzing. Yeah, it was really good. No, I don't long for those days at all. <laughs>
Oh, I just plumped out, didn't know what I was doing the whole way up. Oh.